got a shot fired at officers trying to stop the vehicle. We have uh, one officer shot. We got shots fired. Sound like an automatic firearm. Copy, covered. Shots fired. We have an active shooter. We have an active shooter inside the fairground. <laughs> Now it's Shots Fired with your host, TJ Kurgan, Dinah Death Milberg, and the lovely Crystal Powers. She's back. So you're going to start doing this on Thursdays with me all the time? Don't I normally? I think so. I'm, I'm, we're, I'm starting to see a trend. Yeah. Well, because that's when that was all, that was the only time we were on originally no no oh, no no that was the time we pre-recorded we always recorded yes. our saturday shows on thursday mm -hmm. yeah. and that's how you know what hey welcome to shots fired this is tj kurgan your <laughs> local warlord aka sig glock and colt i'm sitting here with the lovely crystal powers and we are uh we're on the radio together because crystal was actually a listener to this station in case some of you didn't know that she was actually one of our first callers it was quite the rigorous vetting process Yes. Yeah. <laughs> she basically called into the station and I was like, "Hey, know. I'm a somewhat normal person and I can put together uh, at least two sentences." So, hey. Yeah, what's up? she she had like some brain cells and uh, you know, a, an interest in self-defense and firearms and an incredible knowledge in uh and passion, if you will, uh when it comes to health and uh, I will. And, and <laughs> it's not just about health, but uh what would you call it uh uh, diet or it's all nutrition. Just, it's all encompassing wellness, yeah. self improvement, wellness. all of the, all of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you know this show is is about self preservation. That's right. Right. Yeah. And so you know, it's a gun is not the only thing you need to live longer on this on this world. You know, kind of cool if it was though. <laughs> yeah, that would be kind of cool, wouldn't it? But uh, no, you need you need to be you know you need to be a, a healthy mind, a healthy body, you know, and, and then of course have the the tools of the trade in that order. Yeah, at, at least that's what I would argue. Absolutely, and so you, uh, I follow you on Instagram. I'm a huge fan, and uh, your Instagram. It, it's... <laughs> Actually, I don't I don't post anymore. No, you don't. But you put in your stories. I do. Why yeah. don't you post? Um, well, actually, I started sharing a lot of things about the old Rona. Yeah. And um, my account was throttled right. so much. I was shadow banned well, so much. Well, you're was... a conservative, you know, you're going to be throttled anyway. It doesn't really matter if you post about the yeah. Rona or not. Yeah, that's true. But, I mean, I was I was yeah, decently vocal um, before 2019 yeah. um, about politics. And then I decided, you know, I feel like people aren't going to receive the message. Like I, I regardless of your political affiliation or leanings, um, I still want people to be healthy. And so I kind of stepped back from that because I didn't want my message to get lost in, on the political spectrum when it was really, I, that was my personal opinions. And I, I want everybody to have a healthy body and a healthy mind. And if I have to leave politics out of that, then I'm cool with that. Yeah, you know, Daddy always said you, you, know, you don't talk about religion and politics, right? It seems like ever, you know, ever since the Obama administration, that's all anybody ever talks about is politics. The entire, yeah. the whole world has become right, left, black, white, you know, polarized. You know, well, fat, the, skinny. Yeah, the the healthy, the, the division, fit, unhealthy, is, fit. I I can't. Mm -mm. I I don't want to contribute anymore to the division. It's um. Anyway, so the short answer was I stopped posting because um, I was shadow banned so much and, um, I, you know, it was just really discouraging. Like, well, well nobody's Do you mind if I give anyway. your, your, your page over the air? Oh, yeah, go for it. Okay. <laughs> just I don't really understand to... <laughs> it because your name is Crystal Powers, yet on the internet you go by a fictitious name yeah, of Crystal it's just, Stone it's Fitness. Just, it's just fun. Crystal Stone Fitness. Crystal with a K. Crystal with a K. Is, Crystal why not? K R Y S T A L Stone Fitness, and then you've got some other some other pages that you've started now about your motorcycle habits and things. Oh yeah, don't look at those. Don't look at those. <laughs> okay, we won't we won't talk about those yet. But uh, she doesn't post. However, her stories are extremely. Uh, she curates health and wellness memes and informative data. I try to into her funnel which is her stories. I think she should put them in her feed too, but she doesn't want to. 
whatever. We'll work maybe on, maybe we'll, I will. We'll I don't work know. on her on that. But uh, it's a, you know I end up forwarding a lot of her posts to my wife because it's things that guys don't think about. You know, like uh, one of your posts was talking about uh, uh, how the big candle companies, big candle companies, mm, are the yeah. enemy. You know, big anything, right? Any anything big, Catholic Church big, it's all bad. Don't get me started. <laughs> right? And so the candle companies, the big candle companies, don't want you to know that candles that you're burning in your house to make it smell good, you know, that your wife's burning. All those yummy scents. They, they're actually bad for really you. You're are... polluting your indoor air. Mm -hmm. And they're really messing with your hormones. Yeah. Could we talk about that a little bit? We can talk about that. Okay. <laughs> So, so I'll especially because you know the uh, is today the first day of fall. Today's the first day of fall. Is it? autumn? I believe so. Yeah, and um, so everybody's going crazy to get those pumpkin candles. <laughs> yeah, the pumpkin spice. Uh huh. Yeah, and those are just made pretty much all scents that are created uh, not from a I don't know a essential oil. They're they're factory made chemicals and so they're yeah, going like to have some paraffin side wax effects and I, when I read in your post that you know most commercial candles have lead in their wicks mm -hmm. so you've got lead poisoning for potential mm -hmm. uh, paraffin wax what's wrong with paraffin wax well I mean it's fine as long as you're not breathing it oh okay. <laughs> I mean you burn it it's in the air you're breathing right. it most people this is such an outdated concept in my opinion uh, people don't air their houses out anymore Right. No, my um, wife's adamantly against it because, oh, her allergies. You know, like she doesn't want to open the windows and the doors, especially like today. It'd be a perfect day to do that. Yeah, it would be. You know, it's 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 time for the windows down, the screen door on the front porch. Turn on the attic fan if you got one and blow out all the badness and bring in all the goodness. Yeah, just, you know, there's if there's like one concept that's super easy to grasp, it's movement. Mm -hmm. Movement is essential for your cells, inside your body, for your muscles. Movement of air is obviously essential. Well, if you but think like, about it, a fish will die in stagnant water. Yep. So what, what, is, what is air compared to water? It's really the same thing, just one is denser than the other. Yeah, and you know, our bodies are so amazing. Like we're really equipped to deal with so many different <laughs> toxins. Um, but when you're surrounded by them all the time and you're just soaking in them essentially it's you're just putting more stress on your body so yeah air out your house if you have those glade plugins or those scented candles and so, yeah the plugins are even worse right away. <laughs> yeah yeah so i'm trying to eliminate anything uh, without becoming a hippie because i'm far from a hippie right mm -hmm. but but you know a lot of a lot of what the hippies have been preaching have been have been correct. I mean, the, I don't want to so say it. It's so weird. It's so you know, weird. The '70s hippies yes. that I thought were idiots. You know, they're actually they, a lot. They were probably right about a lot of this stuff. But I'm trying to clean up my life every day. I want, you know, like I've said in the past, yeah, I want to be a better version of myself. I want to be able to kick my yesterday's butt. Mm -hmm. And to do that, not only do I have to in improve my fitness every day. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, I have to I have to improve my nutrition every day, but I also need to improve the air I breathe. You know, what I drink, what I eat, the lifestyle I li live, how much I sit versus walk and run, and how much I drink alcohol. Like right now, I'm I'm on a 42 day no alcohol thing. Look at you! Yeah, it's all nice. part of. It. I'm going through. I'm doing a complete detox. You ever heard of 75 hard? I have. Okay, yeah. You know what? I went so far as to download the app on my phone, and then I was like. I don't yeah. remember what well, so, so 75 <laughs> Hard is my friend Andy Frasilla's, it's his marketing genius-ness, mm -hmm. and, you know, it's a great program. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, I live every day of my life by the 75 Hard rules, even before he created it. You know, I work out outside, mm -hmm. uh, you know, except in the wintertime. Um, and, you know, I do all these, I drink a gallon of water every day. Mm -hmm. Now, because of you, I drink water out of cans. <laughs> Rather than plastic this is a bottles, sound bite. <laughs> isn't it? Um, people are like, "Yeah, right." He's drinking a beer, but uh, you know, I, but, you know, with Andy's program, you have to work out twice outside a day for seventy-five days, mm -hmm. and you can't drink any alcohol. And so basically, I live seventy-five hard all the time, except I only work out once a day, and I do consume some alcohol maybe two or three nights a week, mm -hmm. uh, which I consider in moderation, considering the way that I used to be. <laughs> but now I'm doing it. I'm doing two a day, and uh, I'm also not drinking. But screw that 75 day. That's just marketing BS. I'm doing 42. There's Wait. a reason. I'll tell you when we come back. Oh, interesting.
Yes, all I need is the air that I breathe and a little bit of love in my life. Fish, once again, with a great intro music. Coming in clutch, as the kids say. <laughs> he does, he does. So we're talking about indoor air quality, and uh, where were we on that? We were talking about candles. Oh, no, you were talking about your 42 days. Oh, my 42 days. Yeah, my 42 hard, because yeah. you know, I'm not going to do Wait, 75. you said t- today's day 42. No, 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 no. Oh, t- oh, oh. Today's I day thought... four. <laughs> oh, Day four of my 42 hard. So close. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So what I've done, um, and now this is going to segue into something that I wanted to talk about that is kind of a topic that we haven't discussed in this show. We talk about fitness, mm-hmm. right? Uh, and how important fitness is to self-preservation and self-defense. Yes. Um, there is a thing out there in social media and more prevalent in real life, and it's called fit shaming. Okay, I'm new to this. Yeah, so... And, and so, 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 <laughs> fit me. shaming is a real thing. Um, basically, <laughs> I might make some people mad with this. Your fat friends, uh-huh. your your friends that are not fit, the friends that drink too much, the friends that sleep too much, the the friends that sit on their couch and watch TV too much, that admire you and. Uh, they follow you on social media and whatnot, and they see you doing, you know, uh, putting in the work, uh-huh. right? And they see you getting results. Uh-huh. This happens not just to me, but to many people I know, my wife. I, it's got to happen to you. But uh, maybe you've been fit since you moved to Missouri, so nobody's ever seen a change in you. I don't know. But uh, what what happens is these people make comments, and the comments are usually disguised as compliments. Um, okay. Can you give me an example? Yeah, sure. Uh, so I was at an event a couple weeks ago uh-huh. and, uh, with, uh, you know, an, a network of good, close relations, right? Some of these people are my true friends. Some are, uh, acquaintances, but yet I've known them my whole life, mm-hmm. you know, that sort of thing. Uh, and multiple people in multiple settings that night said, are you and your wife going to compete? Are you guys doing a contest? Are you going to compete? You know, that sort of thing. And they were talking about our physiques, Mm -hmm. right? Even though that's never a topic of conversation with any of these people. And my wife and I have never competed before. So there was no reason for them to bring that up. But yet multiple people said it in different scenarios, not the same person. Mm -hmm. What does that tell you? It means that they were talking about us. Oh, I see. Amongst themselves and making some sort of comments about you know, competing. And so anyway, my wife does not take compliments well at all. Like, so she's lost 60 pounds uh, since she started working out at precision. Well, no, I should some really hard work. She's been working out at precision fitness in creep core for the last, I don't know, five or six years. But in the last year, Uh she's lost this 60 pounds Good for her and has become just the poster girl for fit. I mean, her, her traps and her lats and her back muscles are like, just ripped to shreds. I mean, she's kind of scares me sometimes. I love it. Yeah, she's uh, she's she's got that action hero body going. And, you go, girl. <laughs> yeah, and uh, you know, and this this comes off. She had a major car accident a few years back, mm-hmm. and in that car accident, she broke her leg, screwed up her knee, broke her wrist, and was laid up for quite some time. And, and during that time, you know, her her body went the other direction. Mm-hmm. But now she's put in the work. She's done the nutritional stuff. Uh, you know, Jamie Spicer writes a, a meal plan for her, and she kind of goes on and off of being on the meal plan. Mm-hmm. Like where a competitor is going to be rock solid yes. to the to the ounce. Mm-hmm. Uh, she she bounces back and forth between being you know religious with the meal plan and eating some pizza. You know, I think that's actually healthy. I think so too, mm-hmm. um, unless it's got seed oil in it. That's very true. Stay away from seed oil pizza. It's horrible for you. Um, but anyway, so she's you know gotten to this um, incredible fit position where it's so noticeable it's ridiculous. Like if you look at her before and after pictures uh, at Precision Fitness's social media site, it's like oh wow, you know. And and so all of her friends, every time they see her, you know, it's overwhelming compliments, overwhelming. How did you do it? What you know? You have to be cheating somehow. What shots are you taking? What pills are you taking? Blah blah blah. And admittedly. She's doing both of those things. It's not just the hard work and the nutrition. She also does peptides. She's doing semaglutide, uh-huh. or at least she's off of it right now. But those are the other things that a company like Precision can you know, provide through prescription 
Right. You know, to, but those to mix. things will absolutely not replace working out. They won't work clean. at all if you don't work out. Right. You know, they won't work at all if you don't work out. Mm-hmm. So, uh, and that's 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 a conversation for another day. But anyway, all of her friends, you know, they they give her all these compliments, and sometimes it's overwhelming, and sometimes they go too far. They're like, "Oh, you've lost too much weight. You know, you you're st- you're starting to worry me." Ooh, that's a no go for yeah. me. Mm. Yeah. And so. Um, Anyway, so we hear this so much, both of us separately, uh, you know, and we, we're both on a different fitness journey. Mm-hmm. Like, she wants to be skinny, fit, and look good. Mm-hmm. I want to look good, but also be able to, like, defend myself. You against... probably don't want to be skinny. <laughs> no, I'm not looking to be skinny. <laughs> uh, and so I talked to my wife a couple, this was about a week ago. Actually, it was my son. I was working out on the back deck because I work out outside when the weather's nice. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm doing a kettlebell workout. Mm -hmm. And my son says, man, you look like you're ready to do a show. And I'm like, you too. You know, really? And But I took it as a compliment, you know. And so, but in that moment, I was like, you know what? I should call Jamie, you know, because he's a nutritionist Mm -hmm. and he does shows. Like in the people, the the fit shows that he does, everybody always wins, you Mm -hmm. know. And he does this crazy stuff where he'll He'll have your diet regimented until you're until like right before the show, and then he'll change it at the last second, right. and then he'll change your hydration, and then mm-hmm. your skin will look like plastic, and it's crazy, you know. And then they go and spray tan you to where you look like a black guy, and, and you know I'm not <laughs> yeah. into that. Yeah. But I called him. I'm like, hey, I've never done it before, but can we pretend I'm doing a show in 42 days? Because in 42 days I'm going to St. Thomas and I'm going to be in the islands on a sailboat. And I want to look my best, and right. I, I want to, I want to get more fit shaming because I, I I love hate. You know, I think it's actually interesting. The first, rather than I don't know, receiving that as um, a somewhat of an insult, I think it's an interesting um, reflection of how society views people who are in shape. Like, oh, you must be doing it for a reason. You mm-hmm. must be doing it for a show to, to have pictures taken to compete. Um, can't there be like, no, I just want to yeah, look and feel wanna... good and be healthy. Yeah. Why well, isn't... see, they can't get their mind around that because they're stuck in a rut, whatever their rut is. Right. It's the same thing. Whereas if somebody sees you parked at the gas pump in a Lamborghini, they think you're, oh, he's, he must be a drug dealer. You know, he must, he must be a scammer of some kind, you know, um, um that's, that's a real thing. You know, people don't think you could actually be successful, be fit. Or anything in this country without uh, without cheating. We are going to have to talk more about this because I have so much to say. Hey, according to the clock, we got another half hour. We'll be back right after this. Million dollars. Buy you furniture for your house. I've Maybe never heard this song before. You haven't? No. Yeah. I'd get you an ottoman. An ottoman? Yeah, that's Is what that he that said. I'll get you a Chesterfield or an ottoman. Well, what would you, if you had a million dollars, what would you, what would you buy? Now you don't have to spend the whole million, but like, if you got a million dollars tomorrow, what, what was the first thing you would either waste that money on, or some of it, or or invest in? Uh, first thing I would spend money on was um, making a trust. Making a trust. Yeah. Look at you. That's you been on my to do so list for a very long time. You are so responsible. And turn myself into an LLC. Yeah. Yeah. Why do you want to do that? So I can avoid taxes. Ah, so turning yourself into an LLC avoids taxes? I don't think that's how that works. No, nah, it's one part of a very long process okay. involving okay. getting a trust. Yeah, because yeah, uh, yeah. LLCs are taxed through to the individual. So, you know, but the trust does change things. No, there's, right. there's layers. Yeah. Now, if you're talking about estate taxes and things like that, the trust can really, really help you with that. Mm-hmm. But that I can't speak any further than that, you know, because I'm not, I'm not at all a financial advisor. Matter of fact, I just remembered what I was going to tell you off the air, and now I can't tell you on the air. Write it down. Hurry up before you forget. (laughs) (laughs) But we were talking about, um, we'll get back on the fitness in a minute, but we were talking about social media. And and so I met a a person over the weekend um, at an event uh, who is a very influential person. Uh, a matter of fact, he's in the financial industry, so that's what made made me think of it when we were just talking about that. Mm -hmm. And... You and I were talking about social media, and you were saying that you didn't really see the value in you know personal social media anymore, and blah blah blah. And you're frustrated by the algorithm and the uh, the the fact that they 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 restrict you, you know, uh, shadow ban you because you're a conservative and because you're pro fitness and health and wellness. Um, <clears throat> and so I was trying to you know give you an example of how social media can 
not outside of OnlyFans. You know, there's other ways yeah, that being, that's not my style. being influential on social media or at least being entertaining on social media, and those mm-hmm. are two different things, mm-hmm. um, can lead to opportunities. Mm-hmm. And so I met this guy, and this guy, uh, he's he, he comes from a billionaire family. Mm-hmm. So to me, I was a little intimidated just talking to him just because I knew that. Um, and he's like, oh, what's your company? And I said, well, it's Tactical SH asterisk T. You know, mm-hmm. and I, I said the real thing. I said, and he goes, oh, are you guys on Instagram? And I said, yeah. He's, and so I said, it's at Tactical SHT to search it out. So he pulls it up. And the first thing this guy does, you know, he's in his tw- late 20s, probably a uh, f- business guy. He goes, oh, let me see, uh, let me see who, who follows you that I know. And mm-hmm. so he goes to our followers, and Instagram will show you the people that you follow that follow that page. Mm-hmm. And he goes in. The first person it popped up was uh, was a guy that uh, I had not heard of, but according to him, uh, was the number one jujitsu fighter in the world right now. And this and this guy was also this this financial guy was also into jujitsu. Mm-hmm. So he was just amazed. Like it instantly gave me credibility. It instantly right. well, it instantly gave my company, my organization credibility mm-hmm. that that guy followed me. Mm-hmm. Had nothing to do with anything I posted, had nothing to do with a sponsorship or anything like that. It it got, you know, it gave the credibility. The now, personal what that, connection what, created yeah, the, the what trust. That, right. What that leads to, who knows, mm-hmm. but it leads to opportunity. Mm-hmm. And so then I made a joke because I went to the next time I talked to this guy, he says, I just can't believe that so-and-so follows you. And I said, well, he, he goes, do you, do you realize that Joe Rogan sponsors that guy? And I said, go to Joe Rogan's page and see who he follows. And so he's on, he goes to Joe Rogan's. He's like, you're kidding me. <laughs> you know, Joe Rogan follows Tactical SHT as well. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So then, then it was just slam dunk, you know? <laughs> And I even took a screenshot of it. I unfollowed Joe Rogan, so it says follow back. And then I screenshotted it, and then I posted it, and I was like, should we? <laughs> oh, that's what that was about. Yeah, you know, it's, it's just, post. it's like yeah. me saying, hey, look who follows me. Yeah. You know, it's it's pompous, but at the same time, it's also funny. I met Joe at, uh, at SHOT Show uh-huh. 10, 15, 10, 12 years ago. Oh. Uh, he was following Tactical SHT back then. Uh, back then, we had an admin for our Instagram page that was absolutely incredible. Uh, his name was BC. Still is. He just lives in Texas now. Um, and uh, BC was my workout partner. Oh, that's uh, the best. He was a power lifter. Uh-huh. You know, this guy could lift the, a building. You know, just a big, strong man. And he had an attitude like me. He was very pro-America, very patriotic, very anti-idiot. <laughs> um, you know, pro self defense, pro strength. You know, and uh, and so him and I got along really well, and and, his, and we lifted together, you know, five days a week. And uh-huh. so one day he's like, I'm like, somebody, I need somebody to to work on my Instagram page. You know, like he's like, well, how many fans you got? I'm like three thousand. He's like, wait a minute, how many fans do you have on Facebook? I'm like eight hundred thousand. And and he's like, well, why do you have so few on Instagram? I'm like, I hate Instagram. I don't know how to do this. You know, I was a Facebook guy. And so he's like, well, I'll do it for you. And so next thing you know, this dude, BC, blew our Instagram up. He, he's got Joe Rogan following you and, and just countless other people because of his sense of humor and uh, the, the stuff that he would post and the, uh, the ideology or the theme of the stuff that he would post and right. the way he would interact with the fans. It was yeah. awesome. Uh, it was a tragic when we lost him. We didn't. You know, he's still alive. He just left me to start his own company. <laughs> I'll give him a shout out. It's uh, BC Limited. He's got his whole uh, T-shirt line. You can get hats. Blah blah blah. Oh, cool. And uh, you know, he went from uh, working for the man here in St. Louis as a mortgage banker to uh, now. It, you know, last I heard, he was doing extremely well for himself uh, with his T-shirt company out of Texas. And Good so. For him. Yeah, we wish him the we wish him the best. We wish we had him back, but now we can't afford him. <laughs> but that's why, you know, I'd, I'd love to take the credit for being the guy that got those kind of guys to follow that page. But uh, you know, I might have some credit, but uh, a lot of it goes to him. But like I was saying, if you don't post, oh yeah, you know what? Those you opportunities might aren't gonna be happen. the person to get me to post again. I yeah. just, <laughs> you know what? I I think. Um, daily, if not multiple times a day, of things that I would like to share with people. Um, and then I don't. <laughs> I do absolutely nothing with it. Every every once in a while, I might put something in my notes on my phone um, just because, you know, I feel like there's 
being in so many different um, industries and meeting so many people and using my own body as an experiment, you know, when it comes to nutrition and fitness, uh, I, I do enjoy sharing knowledge, but I feel like, unfortunately, um, the way I look dissuades people from paying attention to what I have to say. Are you saying because you're... you're Hideous, oh, which is whatever. why I'm on the radio. I was going to say a hot chick. <laughs> I was going to say because you're a hot chick, you can't be smart, too. This is why I'm on the radio. <laughs> right. Yeah. Can, can, you won't see Crystal on YouTube. No. No. Yeah, no, uh, it's a it's a very strange thing, you know, because you can be a guy and um, say the same things, and uh, you know, I don't even know that it's necessarily a guy girl thing. I don't I know. Think it it's, sounds uh, to me like you have not found the the zen that I found from mm-hmm. hate. So a lot of people when they get on social media and they start to like get fans, you know, mm-hmm. and you start getting more than, you got 100 fans, 1,000 fans, you know, you start exponentially getting fans. Mm-hmm. And when you get into that, those kind of numbers, you know, it's just a numbers game. Uh, if you have 100 fans, it's called 1,000 fans, get 1,000 fans, that means that 100 of those people are sociopaths. If you know, 10 of those people are psychopaths. At least, you know, depending on what you're posting or where you're posting it, some of them are going to be liberals. Some of them are going to be trolls that are strictly there to make your life miserable and to mm-hmm. counter your yeah, post and report your posts. To the, yeah. And so what you have to realize is you have to accept that. Acceptance is the key, that there are haters and trolls there. The way the algorithms on social media work, okay, engagement amplifies the post. Right. So the more people comment, like and share or save the post, the the more it's going to get broadcasted um, to other followers. Well, of yours. so and this is where my overthinking becomes an issue because I uh, I, I know that controversy controversy mm-hmm. sells. Yeah, and um, there are some very easy ways to be controversial, and I don't want to invite that into my life. I protect my peace so well. Yeah. I'm very. Intentional? Why are you smiling like that? Well, because if you know, if you, if you want true peace, yeah, social media is not for you. You know, no, because it's not. but but you can if you with me, I know. So what I've done is I've accepted the fact that the haters and the trolls are there. They're listening right now, right? You know, no, I mean, and that doesn't bother me because I've I I know that they're there. Um, what I'm getting at, okay, is that I love them, oh, and that I can't hmm. survive without them. I need their hate. Their hate makes me, it warms my heart. So if I make a post and I don't get some sort of douchebaggery hate comments on it, I feel like I have failed not only myself, but my followers. Because without the hate, I'm not going to get the algorithmic amplification. So you're just trying to be as objective as possible about it. Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I, I've, I've, I've figured out a way, instead of letting it bother me, you know, like, okay, so one thing, my fans, they, they know it bothers me, and they do it a lot, and, and so some of them are... Maybe you shouldn't say it. Right. No, no it's... Don't say it. It's, it's, did <laughs> no, you, sh- don't did say you skip it. leg day, bro? <laughs> no. Did you skip leg day, bro? Okay, but that's just like, you could say that to people who have like just absolutely huge calves, and that's just a... Right, and it still bothers them. That, oh, okay. I was going to yeah. say, maybe it bothers you because it like pings something... In your subconscious. Oh, yeah, because I used to be a skinny little wafer of a man. Oh. Yeah. See, no, it's not the it's not the. And tr- I do have skinny trolls. legs. I don't think you do. Oh, thanks. I, d- I mean, I Well, you've only really known me since I them, started so. real. Since, <laughs> since I got told I skipped leg day so many times, I just, I started doing leg day three days a week. No, it's, no, it's not the, the trolls or any of those people that bother me. It's actually, I care so much, mm-hmm. and I really genuinely want to help people. Um, when I made meal plans for people or when I give people advice, they come to me. I don't, I don't give advice, you know, just like, here's what you should do. People ask me and then I say, okay, here's what I would do, Mm -hmm. or this is what I've done. And then people don't do it. Um, It's so disheartening. People don't want to put in the work. People are so lazy and it, it kills me. (laughs) I still think you should do life coaching at the wellness level. I think that would be, that would be great. And people would pay for it. I'd just be punching him in the face. Like, but you have to do it for me for free. <laughs> you need to toughen up it first. it was my idea. <laughs> okay, deal. <laughs> it's just going to be me beating you up. <laughs> so I, I screenshotted one of your one of your posts um, this morning. Oh, this uh, is It scary. has two columns in it. Oh, it says, when the, when the government does it, that's on the left side. <laughs> and it says, when anybody else does it, and that's on the right side. 
Okay. So I thought we'd just go through this list oh. and discuss. This, okay. So when the government does it, the Patriot Act, it's called what when someone else does it? Felony wiretapping. Yes. That's interesting. That kind of that's a little slam to George W. There, but because yeah, uh, George W. is the one that created the Patriot Act, which is the biggest infringement on your constitutional rights as a Republican in the history of America. It's pretty safe to say that whenever they come out with a bill that's named like this, you can always count on it being the opposite. Yeah, you, it's it's real easy. And then this this is obviously from Iraq, but enhanced interrogation is what they call it. Oh, torture. Torture is what we call it. Okay. Do you think waterboarding is torture? Um, you know, uh, I don't know enough about it to say, like, I know what it is, but yeah. I've never had it done to me. So I don't know how I've never bad had it, it done really to me, is. Um, but I've done it to somebody. Oh, wow. Dark. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, true story. Um, there is a, there's a guy out there named uh, Brandon Herrera, and he's also known as the AK guy. Right. And he's actually huge. He's got over a million followers on YouTube, big time Instagram guy. He's literally the AK guy. Okay. Um, and he's always doing videos with Grand Thumb, just big time networker. Uh-huh. So I met him when Tactical SHT started on Main Street in St. Charles. He actually showed up one day and I'd never heard of him because back then he probably had like 300 followers. And he shows up. He's like, hey, I'm the AK guy. And he gives me a T-shirt that says AK guy. And I'm like, hey, AK guy, I'm sick, hot, and cold. How are you? And it was like the meeting of very OG gun world influencers, right? Mm -hmm. He's gone way further than I did in one direction. I've gone in a different direction. Mm -hmm. But nonetheless, he's like, I'm here to have you waterboard me. And I'm like, what? Mm -hmm. And, And he says... He says, no, seriously, let's do a video. Get I, your weird fetish away from yeah. me. <laughs> it's like, let's do a video, and you can waterboard me. And so in the next uh, next segment, we'll talk about how that went down. Me and Dinah Death Milberg waterboarded the AK guy. <laughs> Officially. Officially? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Fish normally does that point thing. He did. He did? I, I, I just missed it? Yep. Okay. Must have been distracted. Dang it. So what were we talking about before we went off the uh, off the air and got completely sidetracked? Um, you know, I actually. <laughs> oh, we were going through your post, but go ahead. No, 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 no. You go. <laughs> no, no. What? what were no, you no, no. Say? You go. Oh, whatever. The waterboarding story. <laughs> oh, it was the waterboarding story. Yeah. So, uh, so the AK guy, you know, he says, "Hey, I want you to waterboard me, and I want to do it on on video, and it's gonna, and we'll put it on YouTube and Facebook and blah blah blah, and it'll go viral, right? So it was it was to make a viral video, mm-hmm. and so." At that point, nobody had ever heard of the AK guy, and so he was networking with me, you mm-hmm. know, collaborating with me. Mm-hmm. And so we did a video where he's causing a problem inside the Tactical SH T store, mm-hmm. which was on Main Street in St. Charles at the time. And uh, I come in, get him in a headlock, drag him into the bathroom. Die to death, Milberg, you know, comes in and we hold him down and 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 basically, you know, put him on a chair, across, you know, lay it upside down and with his head in a bathtub, and we. Literally waterboard him. He, he told us he wanted to actually do it, like hold nothing back. And so we waterboarded him with a, you know, a gallon of water. And uh, it did not look fun at all. It did not look fun at all. He, it, was, it was very miserable for him. Um, so and, the, the explanation was just for, for the viral? Yeah. So, I mean, you know, obviously points. shock, you know, shock jock content, okay. right? Just a um, gallon? Yeah, we only did That's one. That's all it took? We only did one, you know. The, uh, we weren't going to obviously completely torture this kid. So the, the mm. question was, is waterboarding torture? I think it is, but it's only mental torture because Ooh. you're not really in any jeopardy of dying or permanent problems unless, of course, um, you know, they continue too long. You know, because mm-hmm. obviously I guess you could you could drown eventually maybe or get, you know, get it in your lungs. But mm-hmm. <clears throat> but tri- typically, you know, it is just it is just mental torture. Because it is simulated drowning. Now, unfortunately, you asked me off the air. I, I, you said, "Can I see a video of this?" And <laughs> depressingly enough, no, you cannot, because, because that video was lost to the ages. I don't know why, but it uh, the the guy that recorded it at the time, um, he uh, he was with 
he was he was with the AK guy. It was his camera guy. He brought his camera guy with him. Gotcha. And uh, and and they t- so they had the camera work their video. Uh, I believe it was eventually edited and put on Facebook a short version of it, and then that post was removed. Of course. <laughs> of course. Uh, and then when the post was removed, um, we asked to get another copy of the video or something. And AK guy at that point had had a falling out with that cameraman. Oh dang. And so that video ended up disappearing. It's gone. It's gone. Gone forever. I would love to find it because he's become such a big deal that it would be fun to post it again. But it, you know who has it? It seems to be lost to the ages. Facebook. Yeah, they probably do. They keep all the that. NSA would have it too. I'm sure they would. Maybe the FBI. Mm. Your friendly One neighborhood. Of the, the IRS might have it. Yeah, probably. The FCC has it. <laughs> ATF has it. FDA. FDA has it. <laughs> All right. Taxation. Uh, Left side versus right side. Oh, when anybody else does it, it's called armed robbery. (laughs) Emphasis on armed as of late. Well, right, (laughs) because the IRS is now arming more agents to come in uh, and rob you of your money. There's actually a bill in uh, Congress right now. It probably won't go anywhere, but there's a bill to disarm the IRS. That's right. And Mm -hmm. so you need to look that up. Let your congressman know that you that you support that fully. Um, some of these uh, some of these are kind of funny. Um, the uh, uh, what was the one? It was the uh, income and property tax. Income and property tax. Tribute to mafia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Property taxes are such BS. They are. I mean, you're basically. You don't own anything in real life. You're renting it from the government. I have so much to say about this. but yeah. I don't... Well, It's okay because we have a radio show and there's a microphone in front of you. So. I don't know that the radio is the best place to talk about it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm going to have to maybe post it. To well, maybe. You know, know. One way you can avoid property tax is by moving to Illinois. The only problem is they also don't put murderers in jail rapists kidnappers or trespass and they don't remove trespassers from your property mm-hmm. so uh, it's give or take you know I, I guess it's better to pay the property taxes and at least have some sort of laws and uh people enforcing them to keep to keep your neighborhood from turning into east st louis well i mean taxes are voluntary is that right well i guess they are voluntary they are voluntary. Yeah. But being put in prison for not paying them is not. Well, you just can't let them get you. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, Crystal. This is not the place to say those kind of things. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so fitness, huh? <laughs> fitness. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Did you see the video of the uh, female officer? This came out like two days ago. There's a female officer who was, um, there was a guy who got out of his car. Yeah. Uh, middle-aged, maybe somewhat older gentleman. Okay. Uh, he got out of his car and he got something out of the back seat and she was on the other side of the vehicle and she said, what are you doing? And, uh, and then the video cut to him standing next to her on the um, the land side of the street. What's Passenger side. Thank you. Okay. And, um, and then they start wrestling, basically. Right. And uh, she could not overpower him. And a Good Samaritan gentleman ran up and tackled the dude and helped her, along with a couple other men, mm-hmm. helped her um, subdue the gentleman. Um, and that he's was... He's not a gentleman. He's a dirtbag. Yes, that's correct. First of all, he's fighting a woman. Dirtbag. Yeah. He had gloves on also, which is yeah. slightly strange, like gardening gloves. Anyway, that's besides the fact. Maybe so, he was um, trying to give her a dirt nap. Oh, you know what? This is on uh, Louder with Crowder. So yeah. I follow him. I actually him. saw the video, but I didn't watch the whole thing. So mm-hmm. I, I, I kind of knew what you were talking about, but I hadn't seen the context. But, you know, I, this brings up a, a great point. You know, I, in, in law enforcement, I worked with several women. Mm-hmm. Um, some of them were grade A, bad A, A's. Mm-hmm. You know, they were, they, <laughs> they were, I'm not sure if I can say that one or not. I don't know. But they were, they were grade A, tough, tough chicks. Mm-hmm. And, but I'll tell you what. The baddest woman is still at a disadvantage when fighting a substantial male. Yes, and uh, not just because of physicality. I argued with several people in the comment section because, you know, that's what I do. Um, that mentality 
a man, a, a untrained man is more fit for combat mentally and physically than a woman, just because that's one of the differences between men and women, unfortunately. Or fortunately, we're, you're I about don't to know. open up a whole lot I know. of I know. Whole I'm ready. Lot the Let's comment go. section, <laughs> and we're out of time, so we'll have to talk about this more next week. But uh, we'll play this again Saturday. If you missed this show, uh, this will be on again the replay Saturday at 11 on 93.3 Real Talk, and you can catch it on the podcast everywhere podcasts are downloaded. Subscribe to our podcast. Text Tactical to five nine seven six nine to join our subscription. Text. Standard data and text rates may apply. Talk to you guys later.